Hello everybody, like and here and welcome back to Cortex Cortex Command and in the last video. Our campaign kind of failed quite a bit. And before you go on to say that I would said I was going to try the mechanisms in the campaign in my skirmish videos. I did. I did all that off camera in a campaign I was doing to pass the time and they don't, they aren't even meant for the campaign. They don't work. Not, not met, none of them work properly in the campaign, so. I just don't even know anymore. Anyway, this is Void Wanderers, so. We'll have some fun here. Um. What do we want to play as? No, I did have a previous save set up for this, but I think that would probably just be better to start over. Mainly out of fear that the although I doubt it this will probably go wrong somehow. So probably gonna do Imperius again. Cause it's nice it's nice to do, be the Imperius. I mean that's this is probably gonna be my YouTube faction for now on. Whenever I do a YouTube video I'm playing the Imperius everybody. Uh, don't quote me on that because or I just used that word something so wrong. Um, don't hold me to that because I'm probably not gonna be able to hold to that. Also, you, you. Room for three more. Gotta have you. Gotta have the cycle. You have to have the cyclones. I mean, they're just the sheer rage induced in, 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 in death. The sheer rage inducing power just has to be had on YouTube. Yeah. Fair warning when you get this mod and use it for Void Wanderers, don't. They they will they are just ridiculously overpowered in this game. They'll rip your entire assault squad to just shreds and then they'll just burn them just to be safe. No, wait, that's what you should do when killing them. No, they'll, they'll just wipe your assault squad off the face of existence. That's how powerful they are. So, do I need to really give the introduction to Void Wanderers? I mean, I had it on this channel before, but I'm not sure if anyone actually watched that. Um, I'm assuming a few people did because they have views other than me, which is nice to see, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to be so used to my Ronin playthrough on this. Well, I did not do a Ronin playthrough on camera, don't, don't check for that, because you won't find it. Um, but meanwhile, lately I've been doing a playthrough of this with the Ronin, and I've gotten pretty far, actually, to the point where we're having bomb bays, and I've killed many of my own troops accidentally using bomb bays. This is a sad day for the Ronin Empire. Yep, Ronins have an empire. Okay. Scout drone just scout drone <laughs> medic drone just moving you down here. Now what am I gonna want? I'm gonna buy one of those. There. Don't ask why I bought a ton of rifles, cause I won't be able to answer you on that. I'm just gonna rinse and repeat this until I have less money than I started out with, because I don't... I mean, the game, this game is actually, this whole well, game, this is a whole game now, apparently. Um, There's the diggers, there's the diggers. This, um, con this mod is just starting to become a bit too easy for me, so I'm gonna try to make it st so I start out with only a few bits of cash on me. 
Hence, everyone needs a digger. Everyone needs to pitch in, and everyone needs a digger. Um, I did not give you a medium digger. Oh, I sold one. Um, fine, fine, we can play that game. Might as well sell them all now. Everyone get back in your little case. You will go get the things to do the things with the things. Kinda sucks that this isn't the impervious brain bot, because I actually like the impervious brain bot, but oh well. Like we can still flail around as him and die in a few hits, so it's still fun. Is your <laughs> fun being zero gravity brain, so I should probably, should probably explain all this to you. So this is our brain, we can attach it, and, well, no, I should probably, <laughs> only avoid wanderers. <laughs> well, you see me mess up that badly with the brain, I'm very reckless with the brain, you have, you basically have to be reckless with the brain in this mod. Right? Just treat the brain as if it's nothing much. I find that kind of, kind of strange, because, in this, it's permadeath and campaign, where you basically idolize them and treat them as demigods. They're basically just an infinite supply of commanders that you can really just dispose of when you need to dispose of them. But in this game, no, they're actually important. Yet, yeah. I treat them more recklessly in this game. Well, don't get me wrong. When you're in a mission, you should still probably be a bit more careful. But in the ship, you can just be as reckless as you want because nothing can attack you here. So. This is our brain, we can de detach it, move it around and send it on missions and such. We can reattach it. This is our map, and basically our main control console. We can do everything here, which you'll probably see me use it for a little bit of everything th throughout the series, so I'm not going to waste 14 minutes explaining all that. This is, since we are on a trade star, or the trade star, since there's only one, we can buy items, and since I have the Utex Limited mod, I can actually buy the bombs and mess around with the bombs, or I can just use the standard napalm bombs, no cluster mine bomb, which, if you haven't seen my skirmish videos, it's pretty obvious why they didn't include that. Um, you could also buy bodies here. Um, bodies are bought here, weapons and items are bought here. From bombs, to diggers and scanners, Grenades, shields, every classification of weapon you need, rifles, pistols, all the good stuff, all the good stuff. So, I did buy a turret, so I can actually place a turret somewhere. That'll be fun, I guess. I don't know where I'm going to put a turret, but I'll put it somewhere. So anyways, let's start out by doing a mission. Moderate. Don't like the looks of that. I mean, if it was my, if it was was minimal, I would probably give it a shot. But now, wait. We should probably check out our. Ah. Uh, So who's our friends and who's our enemies? Um, Impervious is obviously our friends. They're probably not going to be for very long, but they're our friends right now. Um, Takiana is zero. That's good. That's a good thing. You want to, from what I've learned, you want to increase the ones that are zero, and the ones that are negative, just leave at negative or get make them worse. It really doesn't matter. I mean, you'll just have to deal with a few scouts, but that should be fine. Brown coats, we will want to make our friends. We want to make the brown coats our friends, and we want to make them our friends pretty quickly. Because they're pretty... They're pretty terrifying in a... When, when they're inside your ship, because... Fire weapons, closed corridors, it's... It's pretty self-explanatory why they're a threat, but... Yeah, that's kind of why they're a threat. The dummies are... 
don't want to call them a threat, but they are annoying. They are incredibly annoying, especially because if you aren't careful enough, they are going to cause some serious damage to your crew and brain. That, I have noticed, will happen a lot. Just come with me. And then the robot friends. No. Uh, you try to try to move them all at once and they just freak out on you. It is the way of Cortex Command. Okay, so I'm playing with Fog of War on now too because I've learned that you probably should play with Fog of War on. <laughs> I, I never play with Fog of War on usually so I just am kind of used to having that off for everything. But still, Fog of War off is basically just makes this like a campaign, except you start out with more guys. So. I have to be a bit careful here, because I don't want to run into someone who has a bigger gun than me. So I have to constantly check ahead. I see only three kill markers, so that's a that's a good thing. Um, there's a crate down here. I'll take that. If we can get a sniper early on, that's just gonna be great. Snipers in this mod are just overpowered, because a lot of the to a lot of times, my biggest fear while playing this game is having to face someone head on, like face to face, but with a sniper you can just sit back and just be a coward. But apparently it just wasn't meant to be because I broke the weapon with my stupid gun. Okay. No cowardness for me. Oh, we're gonna play the cowards game. Okay. Wow, that was that was just genius right there. Genius in the works. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take their weapons though, and I'm gonna fly back to my lovely medic bot because I want to stay alive. I value my life, and I'd like to keep it. Okay. Yep. Kill him. This is hurting into. Something very terrifying. Holy crap. We're already down a few guys. That's that's never nice. Um, we can get a shotgunner though. They shouldn't call in any more drop shifts, but I'm gonna be a bit careful here. I'm actually kinda surprised that they called in a drop ship on this first mission. They normally don't do that. Okay, heavy weapons. Okay. This could end badly. This probably will end badly. Okay, so we got our shotgun person and our heavy weapons expert. So, a bit of a strategy for those who are new to this game. Don't have everyone as an assault person. Like, actually give them classes rather quickly, because that'll just make them more useful for certain missions, like snipers are good for some missions, shotgunners are well, snipers good for some missions, no, sniper, snipers are good for every mission, but if you can't get a sniper, shotgunners are good for 
assassination missions because they can get in there and kill the brain before they can use their really powerful weapon. I'm probably going to drop the little shotgun pistol I have here because there's DMPs here. Wait, what? What? Okay, I don't think... No, no, nothing bad is happening. It's just music changes sometimes. I forget that. Just not used to it. Changing like that. You're dead. You're going to be dead. If I could just... Okay, no! Uh... Ooh, ooh, brain. This is not a complete loss. Um, Please be someone that's light. I don't want a drone. I don't want a heavy guy. I want a guy that is actually light and agile so please just give me that much I didn't know crates spawned this deep well then again this is Barakai Desert everything spawns deep underground ah why ah uh, that's just That just ruins a day. That, that's all it does. I'm, I'm down to one, two guys, technically. No, wait, three guys. I'm down to three guys. Oh, I forgot. I can't bring the other guy with, so I'm down to three. This could have worked in my favor. This is probably going to work in my favor a little bit. Okay. Okay. And we're done here. Leave. Now. No! Oh, what did he break? He broke something. He broke something. He broke something that was probably important. He broke the machine gun. He, you broke the laser machine gun. You stupid brain. Why do you do the things you do? Well, I guess we got an anti-air drone. Those are not the easiest things to get. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna end the video here. I'm sorry, this video, this video is probably very awkward. Much like a lot of my first videos, and a lot of my videos in general, but I, I do hope you enjoyed. I wasn't expecting that kind of loss so early in the game, that's a bit embarrassing actually. <laughs> really not expecting that. I'm just gonna get these guys up here and call it an episode. So thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next episode, and bye.